welcome to the wolf pack um this year's gonna be a really weird year but we're in it together and i want you to know that i'm here for you if you need anything so today i'm gonna walk you through some like first couple day things um walking you through the syllabus walking you through my calendar and like when due dates are and um just a few other things so I want to show you that on the first thing, one of the first things you want to do is you, once you're into Lincoln Learning, you want to get into Google Classroom. We are going to be using both Lincoln and Google Classroom. Google Classroom will be a place where like you can submit work and Lincoln Learning, you can also submit work, but sometimes like in Lincoln, on Google Classroom, I will have the documents like already pre-made for you and you just have to fill in your details. Versus Lincoln, you would have to like take it, download it and change it a little bit. So plus I can keep you on task a little bit different and show you like what I'm doing in class if you're not here. Also for those kids that are in person, if you miss a day, if you get the virus, like you can still do your work easily because it's all in Google Classroom and it's all really accessible. So when you go to Google Classroom, if you are in my pre-AP class, it should look like this. The first post I have is the syllabus calendar and the back to school week. So I have, I pulled my syllabus. So my syllabus, it just kind of tells you what I am. I'm not gonna read it to you because I know you guys can read. But I'm going to give you some like little bits of details and things that I do include on here. So I include where I went to college. I include some things. Um, the reason I call you guys a wolf pack is because we are big Red Bulls fans. Um, in my classroom, I have a big Red Wolf over there. I have a Red Wolf over there. This is the classroom. It's a little crazy, a little chaotic, but it's a lot cleaner than it was last year. So, here's some things that you should know about me. Number one, I like to call home. I like to build parents, I like parent relationships. I also expect a lot out of you. Like, you're in eighth grade, you're about to be in the high school. I expect you to be reading and writing and not like pretending. So, I also value honesty and integrity. If you are struggling with something, let me know. Don't lie to me or like turn in work that's not yours. Like, that's. That's one of the first ways you can like really lose my respect is if you're not honest and you don't like have your own integrity. I also really respect effort. To me, when you put zero effort in, that's showing me disrespect. And so if you're struggling, contact me. I've included my contact information on my syllabus. It's also like on Lincoln Learning. It's on a lot of different things. Um, the things I do expect you to do is, so here's how you can reach me. It has it on, on here, it says, Yo, I'm, I'm in big trouble. Okay, um, my phone number, I have a Google phone number. So it's 901-401-0116. Please do not hesitate to reach me there. I also have a remind where I'm going to send out like messages like, hey, reading notebooks are due today. Hey, lessons are due today. Um, it's really important for you to sign up for that. And I also have my email address where you can do it. So when it comes to grading, um, the categories are going to be like bell work. Even if you're home, you're doing bell work. So it's just a simple everyday little thing. Like one day it's, you know, might be like draw a self portrait. I don't know. It's easy. Super easy. Just do it. Um, reading notebooks, which is where you're going to be reading at home 20 minutes a day. I expect you to read. If you're in person, you're reading. If you're at home, you're reading. I, I really even want my in person students to read outside of class. Reading is especially important. And so reading notebooks are an important part of your grade. Your Lincoln lessons, your show its and your assessments are important. And then we're gonna do a reading log. So um, basically you can look through my syllabus. I have written a letter to my virtual students. I would really like it if you would read that. Um, and then you do not have to, since if you're a virtual student, I don't want you to have to do the syllabus quiz. However, I want you to be aware of this. I have writing requirements. Like I have font size, fonts that you can choose from. Um, so I don't want you trying to work with like size 72 font. That's just not cool. I also given some things about uh, what we do in class every day. So we do weekly check-ins. I have my reading requirements. Um, then I had some classroom things that don't really, don't really apply to you guys. 
But if you go to the calendar, so the calendar looks, it's not quite done. The calendar looks like this. It tells you when things are due. Up at the top, it tells you what, what's due every day. So every Tuesday, you're going to do something called a check-in. And the check-in is just like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? I need to check in with you. What's going on? It's your spot to tell me things. You also have your Lincoln lessons. Those are due every Sunday. Your bell work is going to be due every Sunday. And all the due dates are at midnight. Then you have reading notebooks. Reading notebooks I'm making due on Thursday because my in-person kids are going to get a little bit of extra time every Thursday to do their reading notebook and then catch up on any work that they've missed out on. Okay? So, please, please, please look at the calendar. Look at the syllabus. Oh, I'm dropping you. Woo. Your teacher's a mess. Should have chose a different one. Okay. So, if you look on the slides, on the slides, I do what like every single day what I do in there. So if you are not in class, if you are in person and you miss a day, you can check online and see it. If you are virtual and you wanna see what we're doing in person, it's right there. I literally follow these slides to a T. If my projector goes out, you can pull up the slides. You don't have to have my projector. So I tell you every day what we're doing and what I expect out of you. My pre-AP kids will have some differences. So there may be some slides that are just for pre-AP and there may be some slides that are just for regular. But you get an idea. I show you everything that we do on here. So if you want to look ahead and see what we're going to do the next day, I usually have them ready for at least a week in advance. Um, but that's all for right now. I just want you to kind of know, day one, I want you to know like where everything is. So if you can, I'm going to do an assignment on Google Classroom. I just want you to give me a thumbs up. Obviously, like and subscribe. Just kidding. But it wouldn't hurt. For you to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting videos.